you drunk? Sober as a judge. I need you. It was a fling. Short but sweet. Michelle, I could fall in love with you like that. Why are you trying to turn a one-night stand... Well, it's not just any old one-night stand, is it? It's you and me. Peter. Look, I know that we could make each other happy. I don't do happy anymore. I've had it beaten out of me. Night follows day. Brothers die young. Fiancés break your heart. I know. I know you've been through hell. But we could build something special together. You're not listening to me. Is it the drinking? Are you scared I'll start drinking? You don't want me, Peter! You're as lost as I am. I'd call that a perfect fit. Last night was real. Last night was fantastic, Michelle. It was what we both needed. No. Wanted. For one night only. No way is Leanne out of your system. No way is Steve out of mine, as much as I hate every hair on his cheating head. So look. We've both got baggage, so what? Big deal. You don't look at me the way you looked at Leanne. But we're only just on the starting blocks. We'd be settling for each other. It's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. It was really thoughtful of you, but I can't accept this, not now. No, it's, it's not for you, it's for Ryan. It's too generous. Oh, he's a good kid, Michelle, and you keep it, eh? Thank you. Look after yourself, Pete. You know, if I had a pound, what's the point? Do you know, I don't half remind me of Liam. <laughs> I know, me too. He'd have happily stayed with you, you know, keep the company. I'll be fine. I feel like I'm abandoning you. Uh, Fizz, Kirk, Tony, Audrey. Michelle who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not again. Oh. No regrets. Can we do regrets on the blower? Meet us ticking here. <sighs> Can you imagine? One minute you're merrily eating your dinner. The next minute, Melbourne the sausage. Jumps off your plate and runs out of the house, followed by your knife, fork and plate. With me running after them. Yeah, and me running after you. And you running after Daddy, running after me, running after a sausage. We look crazy. <laughs> we certainly would. <laughs> Mel with the sausage is like... Careful. Oh, careful. I'll tell you what, let's move Granny Blanche's box, shall we? <laughs> the broomstick must be collapsible. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take that home with me. Right. Oh, well. Bad news, Pyman. The big hand's on 12, the little hand's on 7. Just enough time for flat Stanley. No. No. Please? No, into bed. I'm going to clean your teeth first. Boring. Hey, teeth cheeky. I tell you what, the tickling monster's defo going to get you later. <laughs> Quick! <laughs> I'll stick the kettle on. Triple Glengorm for me, no ice. Oh, no harm in fantasising, I suppose. Beats reality every time. I don't mean Simon. I know you don't. So why aren't you badgering me, asking me loads of questions? Ah, oh, it's my new tactic. You respond better to silence, or we did. Unfortunately, it's taken me 40 odd years to work that out. I made a fool of myself, Dad. Well, I doubt you'll ever steal my crown on that score. Oh, you'd be surprised. 
She said it was Leanne that I'm really after. That I was only throwing myself at her, you know, because she was there. And she said, I'm, I'm flailing about and desperate not to be alone. Said she's sick of playing second fiddle. I don't know, Dad, I just... I just couldn't get her to take me seriously. You do miss Leanne? I don't know. I miss a lot of things. Most of which come in a, a bottle or a pint glass. Yeah, well, you're doing brilliantly. One day at a time. <sighs> Please. Yeah, look, clichéd but true. You know, every bone in my body is aching for a drink. I mean, I'm trying my best, you know, to focus on the good things. Having sigh. The fact that I nearly killed him, that's the only thing that's keeping me sober. Lonely? Yeah. Well, is it a, a shell-shaped hole or a Leanne-shaped hole or a... a drink-shaped hole? Who knows? I don't know. I think Michelle did you a favour. Why did I know you were going to say that? I don't think you're up to a relationship. Think self-preservation. Michelle was. Yeah. Cheers, Dad. I think I can do the honours with Flat Stanley. I think I'm going to have an early night. It's, it's not even dark. I know, but I, I hate evenings. If, um, if I'm in bed, there's no danger of me falling off the wagon, is there? Why don't I get us a takeaway? No, it's, it's fine, honestly. You go home, Mum. I'll be fine. I'm very proud of you. That's the teacher in you. It's the Pollyanna syndrome. I know. A proud father praising his courageous son. Yeah. Bye. Come inside. Thank you. 